just after dawn. In the cow shed, the dairy farmer is already at work. Among the early risers is Des Kennedy, who sets to work with the milking machine. This dairy farm is at Ningen in the far west of New South Wales. It's run by Des's father, Mr. Lionel Kennedy, with his uncle, Mr. Jack Carter. The dairy farm is on the banks of the Bogan River, and it's this fact which has had the greatest influence to date on the life of young Desmond. He's an accomplished water skier. Des, who's just turned 11, has been skiing since he was eight and feeding the calves as far back as he can remember. Although Des Kennedy has won 10 trophies at Metropolitan and Country Championships, the competition is getting tougher all the time as more and more people in the outback take up the sport. Almost every dam and waterhole has its complement of skiers. The Bogan River hadn't flowed since last August, but some stretches are slowly filling. The water here is just three quarters of a mile long and 150 feet wide at its widest point. Some of the boys on the slalom course are in no more than a foot of water. Des goes through the slalom course at 30 miles an hour. He may have had to give up such training altogether if the river had become much narrower. Seven boats of the Bogan Water Ski Club use this narrow stretch for ski. Lionel Kennedy is the president of the club. Mr Kennedy, who himself began skiing only three years ago, learns each trick so that he can teach his son. The whole Kennedy family thinks nothing of driving to Gosford, a round trip of 840 miles, or the Wyangula Dam, 560 miles return, so that father and son can attend water ski carnivals. The third phase of competition skiing. Des already clears 40 feet. Here, some 400 miles from the coast, a small stretch of the Bogan River has produced a potential champion. <laughs> 